Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm currently filming part six, but also filming part seven at the same time. So right now we are, have the end of four liter up in the air. We're pulling the torque converter off and the flex plate. Cause I have a new flywheel clutch pressure plate that's gonna get mounted up. Then we're gonna drop the trans out of the Comanche, bring it down, put the new throwout bearing in and slap it all together uh, on the engine. So when we drop it in, we drop it in as one solid piece and it'll make everything a lot easier. So here we are, we got the engine up in the air and we are taking the torque converter bolts off from the back here. There's four bolts that hold it in. And here you can see where one of the bolts is. There are these tiny things, they're 15 mil bolts. And so uh, you have to spin the crank to get them around. I've taken two out, I got two more. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Let's spin the crank and show you the next two bolts. Well, here you can see um, I spun the crank around. So we get this flex plate here to show us the next bolt. This is bolt number three. We're gonna take this off right now. And then we got one more. We're gonna take the torque converter off and the flex plate. Boom, so there you have it. We got the torque converter off. This is filled with the uh, ATF. So um, make sure you have it with the open side up. If not, it will spill everywhere. As you can see, I already had a spill with the tranny. So next we're gonna get these bolts off. They're 18s. So we're gonna pop these off. And I have um, the new flywheel that's gonna go on here. There you have it, the bare backside of a four liter. We got our flex plate and our torque converter. Now it's time to install the new uh, flywheel pressure plate and get the clutch all lined up so then we could drop the trans and mate the trans to the four liter. Well, here's our new flywheel and then our clutch pressure plate and throwout bearing. I'm gonna get these opened up and we're gonna start installing the flywheel um let me show you guys real quick the flywheel bolts for a manual transmission four liter versus an automatic the automatic ones are shorter just because the flex plate isn't as thick so you will not be able to reuse uh the flex plate to crank bolts but because you need longer ones just because you need to make up that distance because the um, flywheel is a lot thicker as you can tell the bolts are a lot longer we're ready to install our crank we got our Loctite for the bolts we got our flywheel right here brand new looks good um, but before you can do any of that you got to make sure you install your pilot bushing pilot bearing whatever you want to call it uh, since this wasn't an automatic it doesn't have one it goes right in here so you just gotta get yours. I got mine from Novak Adapters out in Utah. So you just go and you just kind of press it in right there. Whoop. You just gotta tap it in right there and it'll sit right there so the front of your transmission will slide up in there. There you go, pilot bearing is installed. Now we can move on to the flywheel. We got our flywheel bolts, our pressure plate bolts. Let's get to it. Well, there you have it. The flywheel is on. Uh, just a quick tip, make sure when you're putting your flywheel back together, use some Loctite. Now I'm gonna clean this surface before I put the clutch and pressure plate on. Got the clutch and pressure plate installed. Uh, make sure you use this thing when you're putting in your clutch. Get him, get him! I have a clutch and pressure plate installed. I did have to get new bolts um, just because the ones I have didn't work. If, we, if you need to get new bolts and you're looking for the size, it's 3 8 16 uh, by 3 quarter inch. So they're not, they're not very long, but um, they're pretty wide and they have coarse threads. So there you have it. Uh, these are grade 5. I did put some Loctite on there just to make sure that this isn't going to come out and I torqued it down pretty good. I, think, I believe it's 40 foot pounds, 35 or 40. But um, make sure you use the clutch alignment tool when you put it in just so uh, everything's lined up properly so that when you put the transmission in, 
it slips in the way it's supposed to but now that we got this done the next step will be to put in the transmission or bolt it up to the transmission currently dropping the trans pulling it out because we're gonna meet it up to the engine so the trans is out um i'm gonna unbolt the cross member and then we're gonna take the trans to the engine and get it all bolted up get the starter bolted up the dust cover everything ready to go just so that it's all one unit so here you have it i got the transmission moved over behind the four liter and now the fun process of lining this all up is going to take place so that i can bolt this all together and install the engine and trans and transfer case as one unit into the command seat. so got the transmission uh bolted up and mounted to the engine block now we're just tightening down the bolts that go around the bottom got the starter in and the next thing we're gonna do after we get this all done is probably just throw it in the comanche and get the comanche all buttoned up well guys there you have it the high output 96 cherokee inline six four liter is in the comanche i set to tighten down the motor mounts but pretty much the trans is bolted up is mounted this is currently almost sitting on its own way i gotta undo the chains so I get the crane out of here and it will be done. I just got to finish hooking everything up and this is done. Hopefully I can throw in the, I got the new fuel tank. I explain that next. So I got the new fuel tank. Hopefully I could throw it all together and get the first start tonight.